Good morning, sunshines. Happy Tuesday, the 13th of December. Um, oh, excuse me. I am so tired this morning. For some reason, I woke up at 2 a.m. I don't know why, um, but I woke up at 2 a.m. and I couldn't sleep for like an hour. I wasn't productive during that hour. I was laying, hoping to go back to sleep, but I'm very, very tired now. <laughs> It's okay. I'll be fine. Um, you want to open Advent with me real quick? Yeah. I forgot I was opening and just opened it. But these are today's yarns. So, yay. I'm going to pick one and do Advent socks while I edit yesterday's vlog. No. No. Okay. Okay. Hold up. Oh. Wait, Mama, what? do people know that if you get a 4.0 on your math and run, you get a dress down week? I don't know. <gasps> you pulled them all out? No. Just... That's okay. That's fine. We'll just stuff them back in here. Hey friends, I don't know what happened. I opened the advents, I started working on the advent socks. I didn't edit the vlog. And then I was like, oh, I'm supposed to be editing the vlog. Let me import the pictures. Well, now it's time for me to get ready for work. Everything's set up in my editing software. I just haven't edited yet. So I will edit after school today. I'm having an off morning. I'm not sure what's up. Just an off morning. But um, my littlest, she's not even that little. She's 12. She got a 4.0, which is like an A++, on her big autumn, no, like midwinter, whatever, interim test for math. So she gets to dress down for the rest of the week. So that's exciting. And then... Um, teachers and staff have jeans. Well, actually, I don't know because it didn't come out from staff. It came out from my dean. So maybe only middle school has jeans for the rest of the week, but I imagine it's staff. So yeah, I get to wear jeans, which um, is okay, except I only have one pair of jeans that fits. So I don't know, probably leggings and dresses later this week too, but jeans today, that's exciting. <gasps> Ooh, jeans today and I'm going to wear some, I'm going to wear some real cute socks. Okay. I'm ready. I'm excited now. Today's socks are over the knee. These are, um, pat, uh, not a pattern sock. I made, well, I didn't make them up. I found the pattern in a stitch dictionary. So on the, it's twisted right now. So you can kind of see it on the back. It's lace. And on the front, it's just um, stockinette argyle. I really wanted argyle-esque socks without doing argyle. So you can see, here's the diamond. Um, yeah, you can see it really well right there. So they're kind of argyle-y, and I love them. The yarn is from 716 Knit. It's If the Apocalypse Comes, Beep Me. I bought one skein at the first ZK and then um, ordered a second skein from Jenna of 716 Knit. And I love these socks. I'm so excited. I'm excited because, okay, so I have one pair of jeans that fits and it is ripped. <laughs> so people are going to be able to see my, you can't have ripped jeans unless you wear something underneath. So people are going to be able to see these socks. So I'm pretty excited about it. I feel very cool. <laughs> I'm wearing one of my ooh, wearing one of my new for day shirts today. This is the U neck. It's almost too low for me to wear to school, but just barely. Um, like 
decent, modest enough for me to wear, so that's exciting. I tried the V-neck on first. It's too deep of a V, so. For school, too deep of a V for school, not too deep of a V for life. So I'll just wear it, not in school. It'll be fine. Um, I really, really like the fabric of the V. This fabric on the on this one is less substantial, but it's okay. It's still not like a super flimsy fabric, but yeah. Also, I have I've been seeing people making knitted pants, and I kind of want to make a pair of knitted leggings for myself. Kind of want to do it. I don't know if I'm going to, but I think I would really, really like it. Except it would be knit on size zeros, so it would be a babillion stitches. And <laughs> and would I start, start from the waist and go down? Would I start from the bottoms and go up? I feel like I would have to start from the waist and go down because I would just get bored halfway through and be like, nope, leg warmers instead. So I don't know. That might be a 2023 project, maybe a 2024 project. Who knows? <laughs> it's definitely not a December 2022 project, but it's percolating in my brain because I kind of want a pair. We'll see. So this is my subscription. Do I know that facial wipes are not great for the environment? Yes, yes, I do. However, sometimes ADHD and depression and anxiety converge, and this is the only way that I can make sure that I'm, like, clean. So, so yeah, I have much eco guilt over it, but also it's a necessary thing. And then I get a hand lotion because I go through a lot of hand lotion. And um, this is the perfect size to sit on my cart at work. I go through a lot of hand lotion because I go through so much hand sanitizer in a day. And my hands get dry. And, like, they're a little bit ashy right now. So I'm going to put some on. Not of this bottle, though. I have open lotion here. But I'm going to take this and go put it in my desk at work. And also, I let the kiddos at work use my lotion because... They are using hand sanitizer and washing their hands all day, too. And sometimes their poor little hands are, like, cracked from being so dry. So, it's not the best thing, but it is what it is. Okay, one more package on today's vlog. This is exciting. This is from my friend who I was fighting back and forth about gifts. I am so excited. What? Oh, my gosh. Okay, no peeking. No peeking. So, first, this... Shirt. It says we all grow at different rates. I'm wearing this tomorrow. I'm so excited for that. And then rent. I am so excited. I love rent so, so much. And I had this DVD when I was in college. One of my friends bought it for me for Christmas one year. And then when I moved to Kentucky, I still had my stuff in a, um, a double wide trailer. Nope. A single wide trailer that that's where my oldest kiddo and my now roommate and I lived before we all moved down to Kentucky and our stuff was in there when we moved. Like we didn't get all, all of our stuff. We just took like a half load when we initially moved down and then we came back for stuff while, well, while we were gone, someone broke in and stole a bunch of our DVDs, including rent. But now I have it again. So exciting. I'm so excited. I love rent. Oh, so good. I'm so excited. And look at this. Oh my goodness. Friends, do you remember I was telling you how much I really, really like this book? I just put it on my wish list on a whim. I am so excited that I own it. <laughs> this is awesome. Oh, how exciting. All right. There will be more package opening in coming days. But for now, I need to go do my chores around the house, my jobs, if you will. 
I need to do some laundry. It's garbage day, so I need to get the recycling bins out. And I need to clean my room because <gasps> exciting news. My best friend is spending the night this weekend. So I need to clean up my room so that, you know, my room is clean because company. How exciting. I haven't had a sleepover in so long. The last time I had a sleepover was... Um, when I lived in Kentucky. So more than six years ago. Is that right? Yeah, I don't think I've slept over anybody's house or had anybody sleep over my house since then. Yeah, not since I moved. Well, except it doesn't really count, except when I've taken the kids down to Kentucky and like stayed at their dad's house. Um, so, I mean, I guess that kind of counts, but even that's been like, I don't know, pretty much stopped except like once a year. So yeah, I'm excited. She and I haven't had a sleepover in a long time. Maybe I, maybe we had one or two after I moved up here, but I don't think so because I always have the kids. So she's spending the night. I'm excited. This weekend's going to be really, really exciting. We have plans. Hey, Nugget. Thanks. Yeah, I'm excited to interrupt your video. It's okay. My daughter brings us, this is our ice cube tray. This is my preferred ice cubes and, uh, we just eat them. But she didn't bring me half. She's supposed to bring me half. She only brought me, let's see, it's a sixth. Rude. So I'm going to go eat some ice cubes and get some stuff done. Oh, I'm excited. I'm excited for this weekend. I'm excited for these packages. But you'll have to stay tuned for both. <laughs> Look what my oldest kiddo brought home. They stopped by the chocolate shop on the way home from school. I'm very excited. And I get to pick two. Salt caramel. Salted caramel. Yep, that one's for me. And then, so this is dark chocolate lemon. This is white chocolate lemon. I think this is lavender, so I won't be taking that one. That one might be dark chocolate orange. If it is, if I confirm, that's the other one I'm taking. This is a mint one, I think, like a peppermint. A caramel. Maybe mocha. I don't know. It's been a little while since I've gotten truffles. Is this orange? Is this one orange? Uh, no, that is whiskey. Whiskey. Ooh, that one's for me. No, I want that. Ugh, fine. What's that one? Uh... Walnut. Walnut. And this one? Uh, raspberry. <gasps> Ooh, I'm taking that one. Okay, okay, my guess was wrong, but I'm excited for it. What What was your guess? Um, Like a mint sort of thing. Is this one? What's this one? I said two. Yeah, I know, but I just want to know what that one That's is. That's cookies and cream. Cookies and cream. Gross. Kamara. Oh, that was nice of you. All right, friends. I took this sock to school today, and I just realized as I was doing the heel turn that um, I did not work this heel as wide as I should have. I worked it too narrow by four stitches. I'm not going to rip back. I am just going to put, um, I'm gonna put two stitches from either side of like the top onto the heel stitches and decrease them out. Yep. Uh, hopefully it'll be fine. Hopefully my roommate doesn't know. Can't tell the difference. I don't know how much of a difference it'll make, but it's fine. It's the same length. It's just narrower. Oops. Hey friends, it is uh, 6 p.m. and the burnout today So this is pretty normal for after I drive my kids to Ohio because my only day off during a work week is Sunday. 
And so that's usually, I try to plan zero things on Sunday. And as you will have seen, I've had plans the past two Sundays. So I haven't had a Sunday off. And I'm not having a Sunday off this weekend either. Um, so I'm exhausted because I need that day for rest. And yes, I know that um, Saturday night I slept 13 hours, but that's not the same. And today my body hurts. It like it hurts. I don't think I told you yesterday that at about like 2 p.m. like my shoulders started hurting and my back hurt and my legs hurt. And today my feet also hurt and I know it's from driving. Because yeah. I just I know it's from driving. And I need rest. <sighs> And, uh, probably a massage, but like I have to pay for those now. So I don't know when that's happening. <laughs> and, um, yeah, it just, my body hurts and I'm so exhausted and I am not, probably not resting until winter break. So probably not resting until the 22nd. Um, so yeah, it's 6 p.m. and I'm so ready to go to sleep. I might, I need to finish editing yesterday's vlog. I haven't done that yet, so I'm definitely not doing that. I'm definitely not sleeping until I edit the vlog and at least getting it exporting. I'm going to try to stay up long enough to get it uploaded too and scheduled, but We'll see. Something lovely and gratifying that happened today, though, is that um, as I was walking out of sixth grade technology, one of my new students said to a different student, you know, tech's actually kind of fun. And I was like, yes, I know it's only day two, but yesterday they came in with this attitude that, like, they were going to hate the class and whatever because my trimester one kids, there are about six of them who just could not behave. Just couldn't behave. So we could never do the really, really fun stuff I wanted to do because a third of the class couldn't handle it. But hopefully... Hopefully sixth grade can handle it this trimester because I would like it to be really fun. I would like it to be a fun class. <sighs> All right, friends. Maybe I'll see you again tonight and maybe this is it. Who knows? Not me. I have no idea. But for now. <laughs>